All right, you guys asked, so I am here to deliver. So when I was talking about how to monetize AI and the things you can do to make money with it right now, um, one of the biggest ones I got was how to revise resumes and cover letters and start a resume uh, revision and cover letter uh, business to serve to people. Uh, it pays big bucks for people to revise their resumes to ensure that they get jobs and listings. Um, and I know a lot of you guys were skeptical because you guys went ahead and went on to AI, ChatGPT, um, and tried to do it yourself. And some of you were like, I can't upload a resume. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so let me show you how to do it because I know you guys were skeptical as well about the fact that like, oh, it's not in depth, it's not very good. Um, and I'm here to tell you that it is really, really good. And the only way it can be good is based on your input. You have to be strategic about it and smart about it. And a lot of people are doing it wrong. They also don't realize that chat GPT is like an ongoing conversation. So you tell it to do something and then you don't like necessarily how it put it together or you want it to be revised, you tell it that. Tell it to, hey, I really liked what you did here, here, and here, but let's improve on this particular aspect with these additional um, parameters. So you have to make sure you tell it everything that you want it to provide so it can provide it for you. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna show you how to revise a resume and, a and how to build out a cover letter. So I went ahead and I pulled um, just an example resume, I'm going to be using software engineering. Um, so I pulled a, uh, just a like a, a mock resume that it can improve upon. And it's a good resume, it just needs some revision. Um, and what we're going to do is base these resumes specifically on the jobs they are applying for. So this is an example of a software engineering resume. And I also just pulled a job description from Indeed of a software engineer. Um, and we are going to make custom resumes for each specific job they're applying for. A lot of people just use their same resume and don't tailor make it to each specific job they're applying for. So that's what we're gonna do. We're not only going to improve upon the resume itself, we are also going to make it specific to this specific job. Um, so I pulled those. Um, as you can see here, this is the prompt. I wrote a prompt and see, watch how in depth this prompt is to get it to where I want it to be. So here's the resume prompt. I want, this is what I'm gonna tell ChatGBT. I want you to act as a resume editor. I will provide you with my current resume and you will review it for any errors or areas of improvement. You should look for any typos, grammatical errors or formatting issues and suggest changes to improve the overall clarity effectiveness of the resume. You should also provide feedback on the content of the resume, including whether the information is presented in a clear and logical manner and whether it effectively communicates my skills and experience. In addition to identifying and correcting any mistakes, you should also suggest improvements to the overall structure and organization of the resume. Please ensure that the resume is tailored to the job description I will be providing. Make sure the resume is built to portray the ideal candidate for the job description. So you can see how in depth this prompt is. So if you guys were just feeding it like two sentence prompts, you're not gonna get the best results possible. So that's what I mean when I'm saying all the time that the output is only as good as the input. So this is the resume prompt. Um, I attached the current resume. As you can see, it's just a mock resume with a summary for um, a software engineer. So highly skilled software engineer of over five years. Um, these are the skills. This is the education um, and a little bit more of description based on experience um, where they're certified. And then this is the job description I pulled, right? So education, experience, they want somebody with a bachelor's and five years of experience. This is the company. Um, here's a little bit more of required experience that they were requiring. Um, you know, a basic, a basic generic um, job description. So I'm gonna copy and paste this entire thing into ChatGPT. Oh, let's do it. Job description, all of it. So when you guys are feeding it like only a couple things, like this is where you could be going wrong. So we're gonna go back onto ChatGPT and it's important for everything that you do to treat each chat. So you can create new chats, have ongoing chats, um, 
treat each chat as its own specific entity and it's forever ongoing. So the more you feed it on something specific, the smarter it gets. So if you have a client that wants you to do, you know, SEO work for them or copywriting for them, keep it all in one chat. And the more you use it, the smarter it gets and the better it'll get. It's always an ongoing conversation. Um, so let's go ahead and copy and paste it all and let it have it do its magic. It's already thanking me. How nice, ChatGPT. So here are some recommendations for improving the, the, the resume. Um, use professional summary. Your current summary is too generic and doesn't uh, explicitly state how your skills and experience align with the job description, include relevant job title. Um, so it's giving us suggestions first and then it should go ahead and apply these suggestions to the resume. Let's see what we're going with. I mean, it takes a minute, but considering it's extremely, extremely fast. see where we are. Highlight relevant projects, emphasize relevant experience. So it's giving them, um, you know, some good, some good points on how to actually go in there and revise the resume and let's have it. And if it doesn't automatically do it for us, we will tell it to do it for us. Oh, see, here's an example of how you might revise your resume to a better align with the job description and everything that they just wrote above. Um, so now they are go ahead and write the entire. So not only did they give you all this, which this is something that you can provide to whoever's resume you're revising, right? Like, hey, moving forward, here are some key things that you want to keep in mind when you're building your resume. Um, and you can copy and paste these. These are great, great suggestions, right? So now it's building it out. Um, and it is going to be specific on the job description as well. So it's going into more detail on um, experience that is tailored to the, oh no, let's see, did it fully respond? Okay, so let's just say, keep going. Sometimes it just needs a little second heads up, um, but it is going and going and going. And it is making, by making these revisions, your resume will better align with the job description and highlight your relevant skills and experience. Um, so let me ask it, how did you improve the resume based on the job description? Please give me bullet points. So now I wanna see like what it actually did to, um, you know, Taylor, make it to the job description. Updated the summary to emphasize your experience in the biometric software engineering, your skills, uh, changed your job title to biometric software engineer because that is what they were actually specifically requesting. That's awesome. Uh, revised work experience bullet points to highlight relevant experience such as experience with test simulators. Um, removed and it removed irrelevant information. Um, so that's cool. And it used clear and easy to read format that highlights um, important information. So, I mean, you can't tell me that this isn't amazing. Like this is so in depth and so good. And the more you use it, the smarter it gets. And the smarter it gets for you specifically on what you're asking it. So, okay, now we've got an improved resume that's tailored to that specific job um, description. Now I'm going to, I drafted up um, a prompt for a cover letter. So now I'm going to tell it, I want you, I'm gonna say I now, want you to act as a cover letter writer using the resume you just revised as well as the job description I provided earlier. You should use appropriate formatting and a layout to make the cover letter visually appealing and easy to read. You should also tailor the content of the cover letter to be specific to the job and company that I am applying to, highlighting my relevant skills and experience and explaining why I'm a strong candidate for the position. Please ensure that the cover letter is clear, concise, and professional. Bada bing, bada boom, let's see what we get. Dear hiring manager, you'd obviously put whoever it is. I'm excited to apply for the biometric software engineer position at Athena Sciences Corporation to work uh, blah, 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 as a highly skilled software engineer with over five years of experience developing and maintaining software applications. I believe I have the necessary skills and experience to make a valuable contribution to your team. Um, as you can see, this is 
very in-depth. Um, it doesn't sound like a robot at all. This could very well be have written by anybody. Um, and it's based on the input that I gave it, right? That, that prompt was, was really, really in-depth and really specific. Um, in my current role, he's saying what he does um, and how it applies to the job description. Furthermore, my experience as a software engineer, intern at XYZ, corporation provided me with the opportunity to work. I'm a self-motivated individual, strong problem solving and analytical skills, and I am committed to delivering high quality results. I'm confident that my skills and experience make me a strong candidate for this position. Um, so this alone as it is, is insane. This is awesome. Um, we can tell it if we want it to be more specific. Um, so say like include why I am a better candidate um, can than anyone else. Include why I'm a better candidate than anyone else. So obviously the cover letter was great on its own, but I just want to give you more examples of how you can keep the, continue, the conversation going and how you can improve upon it. So let's say I said include why I'm a better candidate than anyone else. Um, so here we go, let's see, it should be pretty similar to the above cover letter, and it should just um, kind of say why they are a better candidate than anyone else. So, I mean, let's see, here we go, he's going into now what sets me apart from other candidates is my demonstrated ability to quickly learn, apply new technologies and methodologies. I am a self-motivated individual with strong problem-solving analytical skills and committed to delivering high-quality results. I am confident that my skills and experience make me a strong candidate for this position. Um, so, I mean, all of this is super valuable, super, I would absolutely use this for my resume. I obviously don't apply for jobs anymore. Um, I have clients, but if I were, and I did have to go back to that, this is absolutely the way I would go about it. You can get super, super specific with it. Um, things that you want to get across to it, make sure you let it know. So I hope this is helpful for you. This is just the first video on, um, how to monetize the examples on how to monetize AI. So stay tuned, there will be a lot more to come and I'm excited to share them with you guys. So stay tuned. Um, you can subscribe, um, also hit the notifications, that way you get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks guys.